Hi, welcome to Old School Chemistry. We are going to do an ideal gas law problem. This comes from the G main exam. It was August 26, 2021, three o'clock to six o'clock exam. Let's look at the question, is question 13, and it reads that we have one mole of helium and two moles of carbon dioxide gas. They're taken in a container of a volume of four times 10 to the minus three metric uh, meters cube, cubed. So cubic meters there at 400 Kelvin temperature. They want us to know what's the pressure, but they're specific that they want to know if the pre uh, they want the pressure to be in Pascals. So right away, I identify that this is going to be an ideal gas law. And there's one huge reason for this icy amount of substance. There are moles. Whenever we're dealing with our gases and pressure, volume, if you see moles, you have to use the ideal gas law. Because of our gas laws, this is the only one that's going to include moles. So I have to use the ideal gas law, uh, PV equals NRT. Now, I was super explicit in this. Notice that we have a mixture, a mixture of helium and of carbon dioxide. If I want to know total pressure, then we have to look at the total number of moles. So total pressure times volume equals the total number of moles of gas times R times T. So I solved for the total pressure, P sub T, uh, and it's NRT divided by V, and then I labeled everything. Uh, our total pressure, that's what we're looking for. Look what I did for my total moles. I just added the gas moles together. One mole of helium plus two moles of carbon dioxide gives us a total of three, three moles of gas. Um, our gas constant, 0 0.0821 atm times liter divided by mole times kelvin. We are at 400 kelvin, and then on my volume, four times 10 to the minus three cubic meters, well, my unit here for R is in liters, so we have to convert. I converted from my meters cubed to the liters. One uh, meter cubed is a thousand liters, so that gives us four liters. The container is four liters large. Go ahead, plug everything in right up here. I just substituted in and I got the total pressure is 24.63 atm. But they specifically asked for our unit to be in pascals. So here's your conversion factor. Uh, there's 1.01325 times 10 to the five pascals in every one atm. So down here, total pressure is going to be the 2.49 times 10 to the six pascals. Nice, very good. Good work. If you need some more help, check out the links up above. Have a great day. So proud of you. Good luck with your exam. Bye.